This is Jessica B. Hill and she is playing Cecilia in Paint Me This House of Love. And this is Chelsea Woolley and she wrote Paint Me This House of Love. And the play is about a family, a father, a mother, and an adult daughter, who Jessica plays, who uh, are fractured for, for various reasons. They, they uh, are not a tight-knit family. I think we, we really find her at um, probably the lowest point in her life, I think is where I'm going with it. There's a lot of mention of repeated patterns that we, that we all do in our lives, really, that she's um, coming to terms with. And we're at a fracture point and her father finds her in that point. And I think she's very good at acting like it's fine, like we all do, we power through. But it's through this attempt to rekindle with her father that she's going to find a way to shake things up. And um, I wanna hope that there's a better future for her. <laughs> so I started writing the play in 2019, and it was when I was the uh, Tarragon Theatre's RBC Emerging Playwright. So I knew um, going into first draft that I wanted to explore different kinds of communication uh, from telling the truth outright to things like reveling in memories, to things like promising things uh, in the future, like a fantasy. And then of course, because it's a play and uh, it's fun as a playwright. I, I also uh, question, well, what about lies? How, what, what is the role of lies in, uh, in trying to construct a relationship that works? And if you lie and it gets the desired result, is that a good thing? Is it not a good thing? Um, and so something that I really um, was excited to play with was I wanted the structure of the play itself to uh, uh, also help tell the story about communication and fractures. Um, there's so many big lies in this play, but it also, we, we get a little window as to why someone would, would do that. To me, it speaks to redemption or to a, a need for redemption or an ask for it. Or a, um, I, I just hope the audience can open their hearts to how flawed we all are and how much we try to rise above that. I, I just think it's so incredible what you've done with this script. It's, it's the day that I went, oh, it's a sheet of music. It's the way that you've written it and the way that you fragmented the script feels like these old floorboards with holes in them. And the most important words that can actually connect have been lost. So you're left with just these, these fragments, these tethered, like very tenuous tether, tethers trying to pull to the person that you're trying to communicate with. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's a much more intimate journey than I anticipated. And I think it has something to do with that fragmentation too, that because you're not able to say everything, you have to do it in a different way or, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been pretty amazing. I'm looking forward to, yeah, to running the whole thing. <laughs> Most of my people, my closest friends and, and family, they all live in Alberta. And so when the pandemic hit, there's, there's for sure this, like, this need to, to connect to these people that you just can't connect to. And uh, that's, the whole, that's the whole point of this play, is this need, this want to connect and, and just being unable to. It's a play about yearning and, and longing and hope and love and trust. And so I hope that audiences can feel that and uh, have a reaction to that emotionally um, and, and maybe call their dad. <laughs> Paint Me This House of Love begins previews April 11th. Get your tickets at tarragontheater.com. <laughs>